there. Now she can still see both, and we can see them all. All right, Kirsten, I think you better go live to Facebook. Welcome back to those of you watching us on social media. A little bit more. We are back on the hunt with those cheetah females. And she's got up again. I hope she's not going to sit down again. I don't know if you were with us earlier. If you were with us earlier, we watched her for about 20 minutes, stalking up closer and closer towards these Thompson's gazelles here. Now she, then she lay down for a long time. Now she's got up again and he's coming towards them and as we go live she sits down yet again I just can't believe they can't see her sitting there it's all very confusing yes yeah, she's coming she's coming Straight towards them now. She's getting close enough. There's a baby here. Oh, no. There's a baby this side. And I think that's why she's got up again. Now they can see her. There's a little one here. Straight in front of us. I will be fascinated if this works. I think she's given up on these adults. I think she can see the little one here. And now she's decided that's going to be her target. She doesn't have to get nearly as close to the baby as she does to the adults. The mother and the youngster are watching towards her direction. Whether they can see her or not, I don't know. They haven't moved. Mother and youngster, now they have. And she's coming. I can't believe that she's actually, that's, that's not a, I mean, she's barely jogging. She's going towards the little one. The little one is springing off towards the side. This is fascinating. I don't know what she's doing. She's kind of jogging after it. She went straight past a warthog who just watched her. I think we're going to have to move. Hold on tight. She's going after the youngster. There's no ways we can keep up with her, but we might find the end of what happens. She's still moving, still jogging. I've never seen a cheetah hunt like this. It's like a greyhound coursing after something. This has not been a sprint. She stopped moving now. Probably hoping the little one would tire and give up. But the little one very cleverly either got in amongst the adults or was surrounded by the adults. Now they've disappeared down into... Ooh, there's a large grouping of them down there. And there's some really nice cover for her here. There she is. I'm not sure she's now. Seems to have kind of given up, really. But as you can see she's carrying her head quite low, which tells you that she's not quite given up. She's thinking about having a go at something. I think she might just put herself behind a termite mound there and then wait for a while. Yeah, there are a lot more Thompson's gazelles down in the dip there. But I'm 99.9% .9 sure that if we go down into that dip, we are going to lose signal entirely. And you will not see anything but a black screen. Yeah, she's given up. How oh, very strange. She will be around here, though, for the duration of the day. Maybe she's just getting behind the termite mound. Let's wait and see. This is really 
fascinating stuff. She's looking very sad. Ooh. David, you say maybe she's trying to confuse them. Quite possibly. She's certainly confusing me. But wasn't it interesting to see her go for the little one? How her focus changed completely once she realized there was a youngster. Now, there are a whole lot of them coming straight up towards her now. Lots of them running up here. Straight towards her. Just get behind a termite mound, cat, and you'll be in luck. So if you do hear a slapping sound every so often, it's because I'm being attacked by flies. You see, I think they've seen her, and they're trying to find out what she's doing. I'm not sure that they can see her behind the termite mound, and this is very typical behavior. But they'll come and find out where the predator is. They know at what distance they'll be able to get away from her. I'm just going to see if I can spot any more youngsters. Lots of impala down in the dip there. There are no really small ones in this group of Tommies here. A big ram is quite big for her. And they are so fast. I mean, they're unspeakably fast. In comparison with something like a human being, I mean, it's ridiculous how quick they are. I'm still jogging towards her. Melissa, you say, can they smell her? I don't think in this wind that they could. In fact, no, I mean, it's blowing from her onto them. They might be able to smell her, I'm not sure. If she is giving off a smell, then yes, they'll be able to smell her. Now they're chasing up towards her. This is really interesting stuff. She's kind of slinking away. They're almost saying to her, go away. We know you here. We're the big ones. Why don't you have a go at us instead of the little one that you tried to bully? Yeah, the little one is way down in the little valley. I'm fascinated that the, she doesn't turn and have a go at one of those. Oh, Drex, you want to know if I think a lion is smarter at hunting than a cheetah. Could we say that they are smarter? No, not at all. I don't think either one is smarter than the other. They have both developed strategies that are best for their species. A cheetah, of course, sits very much at the bottom rung of the main predators here. Of the big five predators, lions, hyenas, wild dogs, leopards, and cheetah, cheetah sits at the very bottom. They're much more slight than all the others, and of course, they are solitary. Now, when we do go back to the cheetah, you might see a whole lot of vehicles. That is, of course, because we are in a tourist area. Yeah, the cheetah has given up now, slinking off, feeling rather ashamed with life. Also being watched and jeered by some topi off to the one side. And they think that it's all rather ridiculous. Yeah, they've put her to flight. Not because I don't I think she felt any physical danger from them, but simply because she now knows that she's been spotted and she's going to have to come around from a different angle, possibly from the other side completely, using the wind to her advantage. Yeah, she's turning back towards them now. This is really quite fascinating stuff. Shall we move slightly, folks? Should we go around the other side there? Let's see if our signal will maintain. I don't think she's actually trying to flank them, though. I think she's given up. We'll just go around the side of the Tommies here.
losing signal now and I'm losing communications. All right, we're going to call this one quits. Uh, we'll do our best to keep up with what's going on here. I think we'll probably leave the situation though because the cheetah is now heading off down towards the river. All right, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time nature's action starts to unfold.